What it do, Tricklers, and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to look at a tool called Circleize. No, not Circumcise, Circleize. It's a very powerful tool that you, you, well, as soon as I show you, you'll get the gist of it, all right? Just stay with me. So let's create a cylinder. I'm just gonna scale that up because size matters. Focus on that bad boy. And just for the sake of simplicity right now, I'm just gonna delete every face but the top face, just like that. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select like that. I'm gonna extrude it inwards. And then I'm gonna do that again and again. Just like, you know what? Let's go back and just keep the top faces. Why? Because I can't be fucking arsed. Like that, and I'm just gonna repeat doing that a couple of times. Uh, just like that. Absolutely amazing. So I extruded a couple of times and then what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to go to Vertex. I'm going to select these bad boys right here and I'm going to press the tool Circle Eyes. As you see, nothing actually happens because you have to select everything that you want to be in that circle. So I'm going to select all of that and I'm going to turn that into a circle. But a bing, but a fucking boom, you actually have a cylinder. Isn't that amazing? That's actually one of the very powerful tools you can actually use to, instead of using the fucking Boolean shit magic that never actually works and just ruins your typology and everything, use this tool instead. Uh, it's actually really good for, well, just just see for yourself. If I, if I just drag this down a little bit and then I just drag it in and then merge, there you go. How sexy isn't that? You know, see, and the typology and everything is all in order. I could have just dragged the sub-axis way up in the division level at this and then you get better circles, but I don't really need that right now, do I? So another way of doing this, of course, is another, let's just, you know what? I'm just gonna do it right here. So I'm just gonna go to vertex. I'm gonna select one of these, shift right click, chamfer vertices, and then you get four of these and I'm gonna select four of those and I'm gonna press G to repeat command. And there you go, you have a cylinder. Now, of course, the difference between chamfer and circle eyes is that chamfer actually, well, as you see, you get left with these kind of awkward triangles in the middle, well, whereas the circle eyes thing actually keeps the typology all in order. Hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll see you guys in the next one.